The true price or the present value of a bond is the bond's full price. However, it's discontinuous because coupons pay discontinuously. If we subtract the accrued interest from the full price, then we get the flat price. And that is the smooth price that pulls to par. I start here with a premium priced bond, meaning the price of the bond is above the par. The face value in my bond, as usual, is $100. I'm going to assume a coupon rate of 8% per annum, payable semi-annually, meaning payable twice per year or every six months. And then I'll assume a yield, which unless otherwise specified, refers to the yield to maturity of 7%. The 7% yield is an assumption that I am going to keep constant as we imagine going forward in time. So that's a key underlying assumption here. The maturity in my bond is January 1st, 2025, meaning that as of January 1st, 2018, literally the beginning of this year, this bond has seven years to maturity. So that I can use Excel's built-in PV function, present value, to determine the present value price of this bond. And you'll notice right here for the number of periods, I'm using seven years times two periods per year, 14 periods. The price of this bond on January 1st is 105.46, and it's uh, above par, which I do expect, given that my yield is below my coupon rate. So if I want to go forward six months to July 1st, 2018, all I need to do is subtract one period from the same formula. And you can see that I've also identified in the chart. July 1st, this bond price is lower. It is pulling to par at 105, about 15 cents. And I can go forward to January 1st, 2019 by subtracting two or really we have 12 periods remaining there, six years, 12 semi-annual periods. And the price of this bond on January 1st, 2019, you can see is lower again as it gets pulled to par. Now, what about halfway between the reference period, which is halfway between, let's say, January 1st and July 1st? We, one way to get this price is to take the price on January 1st and simply compound it forward at the yield. And in this case, if I'm going to April 1st, it's halfway through the period. So I could say 90 days into a 180 day period. To keep it simple, I'm using a day count convention of 30 days, 360 days per year. So that on April 1st, you'll notice the present value of my bond is $107.29. And let's see, April 1st is right about here. So that's halfway through. And that's right here. You can see that matches and on the blue. That's why I have these colored in blue. So that on April 1st, the present value price or discounted cash flow value of this bond is 107.29. And it's the blue dotted or dashed line here. And it's discontinuous because you can imagine this as the coupon cash flows are going, are occurring at the same point in time. We're just getting closer to them as we go, as we go from January to March, February, March, April, we're getting closer to these cash flows. The discounted cash flow or present value price of this bond is increasing until July 1st, at which time a $4 coupon gets paid and the present value price of this bond discontinuously plummets by exactly the coupon or $4 to 105.15. And at that point in time, at the coupon dates and only the coupon dates, does this present value price equal the green line, which is the flat price? Right, so the discontinuous line is the full price. And so that's really the important price. And I would, when we can also say the present value is equal to the full price here, which is that dashed blue line. Unfortunately, it's discontinuous because the coupons pay discontinuously. And then we also say the full price equals the flat price 
m plus the accrued interest. So that on April 1st, if we want the flat price, right, we would just subtract the accrued interest. And in this case, the accrued interest is half of the coupon or $2 and the flat price then subtracts the $2 and the flat price on April 1st. So right on the green line here is 105.29 and that's why I colored this in green. So just another thing about terminology, the full price is also called the dirty price, is also called the cash price. And so the, the, full the full price corresponds here to the flat price if we subtract the accrued interest. And dirty would correspond to clean. So clean is dirty minus the accrued interest. And then we could also use quoted. So quoted is the cash price minus the accrued interest. All of these terms are these terms minus the accrued interest. So it's more intuitive to deal with the flat price because you can see here the flat price is not discontinuous. And when we talk about the bond's price pulling to par, it's really the flat price that smoothly pulls to par. You can see here we have a premium price bond. Yield is less than coupon rate. And it's slowly, it's dropping in terms of the flat price, the green line, as that flat price pulls to par or approaches 100 and converges on 100 as the bond reaches maturity. So the other, only other page I have here is a discounted bond. So I changed one assumption. I lowered the coupon rate below the yield. So now the coupon rate is 6%. And I would expect a discounted bond price, which is what I get on January 1st with seven years to maturity. The bond's price is $94.54. So if I go forward to July 1st, instead of 14 periods, I have 13 periods. Bond price is lower at 94.849. And if I want to go forward to January 1st, 2019, then Instead of 14 periods, I only have 12 periods left, and my bond price is 95,168. And again, on these coupon dates, those are the only dates at which we don't, don't really have to specify if we're referring to the full or flat price, because on the coupon dates, and only the coupon dates, the full price equals the flat price. But that on April 1st, to again use that, use the same exercise, I can grow forward at the yield and I'm going halfway into a 180 day reference period so that on April 1st, my full price is 96,180 and my accrued interest now is, the, is going to be half of the coupon and the coupon is $3. So my accrued interest halfway into the period is $1.50 and my flat price subtracts to give me a flat price on the green line as of April, right here, of $94.68. And you can see here, in the case of a discounted as opposed to premium price bond, which we expect because the coupon rate is lower than the yield, it is my flat price, aka clean price, aka quoted price, that is pulling to par and therefore increasing. And it's my full price that is discontinuous, my full, also known as the dirty or cash price. So I hope that's helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and you'll get the updates. Thank you.